So how sad is it that I'm literally wearing maternity clothes right now because I can't fit into my regular fall clothes. <laughs> like, I'm almost there. It's like I can get it buttoned, but I can't get it zipped. I literally feel like if I wouldn't have had that one muffin last week, I would be there like, holy cow. But here's the good news is maternity clothes have come a long way since I've had my daughter. I mean, seriously, this is kind of cute. Even though I kind of have like a little bulgy area right here where I should have a baby bump and don't. This is kind of cute. I'm just saying. All right. Let's talk about today's video, which is my Slay Glam unboxing. And of course, we're going to do a try on and talk about the products and whether they are awesome or whether they are just meh. All right. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy on open. And hopefully I don't cut anything important. So if you guys have not signed up for Slay Glam yet, I will put all the information down below. This is a $24 box. Oh wow, I've got a bag inside of a bag. Wow, is that not, is that, like did it mean to go priority but then didn't? <laughs> so back to what I was saying, Slay Glam is $24 a month but I do have a code for you guys if you wanna use it and you can get it for $21 a month. It's free shipping I think inside the United States. I don't know what the shipping is internationally. For you international people, if you do get this box, let me know down below because I'm actually kinda curious what the, oh, international shipping is oh she sent me her lashes oh my god that is so adorable oh my god she so if you guys did not know slay glam does have a lash subscription i think i think i'm not for sure i'll have to check on instagram but yeah this is her her lashes it's literally slay glam lash box that is stinking adorable so i'm definitely gonna have to try these out you guys already know i love me some lashes they may not all love me but i love some lashes <laughs> all right let's pull this box out if i can get it out <sighs> okay and we're literally my box is my box has been destroyed <laughs> it, it's seen better days Okay, wow, this thing looks like chock full. Ooh, lots, lots of stuff there. Did I get everything? Okay, all right, got our little card here. So again, you can use my code. I'll put it down below. I think it's not so evil slays. And um, I don't get anything if you guys use that, by the way. All right, let's crack this open because this looks very interesting and big. And I like big and I love interesting. So, ooh, that is cute. Look, it's shiny, 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 shiny. And it says crown. Oh, these are crown brushes, hello. So I do actually like crown brushes. I don't love all of crowns, crown brushes, brushes. That makes sense how I just said that, but oh, wow, hello. There is a really nice pair of tweezers in there and I can't even tell you how much I need these because tweezers do not last in my house. If you have kids, tweezers don't last in your house either. So you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> there's a really, really nice brush set and a mirror there, which I just like, you know, flashed you guys with, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's, um, that's super exciting. And that's a really, really nice case. So I am not mad at that. And it says that that retails for $19.99? It says minus $19.99, or I think it's supposed to be dash $19.99. I don't know. That's weird. Okay, so let's open this up. I think this is an eyeshadow palette. I'm thinking. We'll see. We will see. Jonathan Gray Beauty. Oh, that sounds familiar. Where have I heard of Jonathan Gray Beauty from? It is cruelty free. It's got 24 months. It looks like it's made in Los Angeles. Ooh, that's, oh no. Look, no, no. I have never ever in the entire time that I've been getting Slay Glam received a broken product. But that, my friends, that's broken. Like, that's really broken. <laughs> that's so sad. Oh no. Okay, well, I will try to repress that because, you know, that is the kind of good thing is that 
my box does get sent to me free for review. Although I do love the products that I get in the box and of course don't want them to get broken. But this is the first time that this has ever happened. So, you know, I, I'm not going to hold it against her. All right. So this is a Manicadar Beauty Lippy Love Lip Scrub. Hello. Two boxes put lip scrubs in their boxes this month month so that makes me happy and i got that jeffree star lip scrub which i'm loving i'm not gonna lie so we'll see how this compares oh oh my gosh oh it's like it's like a white lip scrub okay oh so that's a lot it's a lot less harsh than the buddy scrub one it goes on clear i can feel like the little scrubby things in it but it's not nearly as harsh as like the buddy scrub or even the jeffree star lip scrub it's more like let me see where it's at i don't even know what it did with it oh here it is it's more like this right here um, by Sugar Advanced Therapy Dream Fresh. It's like this one. So it, it actually really, really reminds me of this one, except for it's clear. So that's kind of nice, actually, because I'm almost out of that one. I'm, like, getting low. All right. Next, we have another Kaylin product, and this is the Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint Plus Mousse. Hmm. Hello. Okay. And this says it... I'm sorry, the Manic Dart Lip Exfoliator was $24 and this retails for $19. And then, and I'll open that here in a second and we will try it out. And then I got this right here. Oh no, this is broken too. But the good thing is that this is ColourPop and it is one of their, their ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. So their little Super Shock Shadows are so soft and I mean, you guys can just literally put your finger in there and repress it. So that is a really pretty color. That is the color Flipper. So that makes me happy. All right, you guys. So I am going to try to repress this shadow and see if I can get it to work. If not, I don't know. We'll, we'll, let, me, let, me, let me figure this out and then we'll try on some products. All right, you guys, so I did get that color repressed in this eyeshadow palette. So while we're waiting on that to finish setting, let's go ahead and try out a few of these other products. And we will start with the Manicadar Beauty Lippy Love Lip Scrub. And I really love lip scrubs or doing them before I start doing my makeup. So it's kind of like you do a treatment on your lips and then you let it sit while you're doing the rest of your makeup and then take it off. You know what I'm saying? So we'll go ahead and start off with this. Oh yeah, so that's very, very, very similar to the Sugar Dream Lip Scrub if you have that one. It's not thick like the Buddy Scrub one or like the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub. It's a lot thinner, um, not nearly as abrasive. So this is really nice to take with you like on the go. Like the more abrasive, thicker ones, those are ones that you do at home and just they really like get into it. But say you're out on the go somewhere and you know, you get like that little piece of skin that's what these are really good for the the on the go lip scrubs you know what i'm saying so i like to have both i really do especially in the fall and winter so now let's go ahead and i'm going to try out a couple of these crown brushes and since this palette is setting i'm just going to use them in my sigma palette because you know, this is probably one of my favorite palettes for the fall. So I'm going to get into, and this is the Warm Neutrals 2 palette. And I'm just going to get into Toasty and put that right there on my crease or really above my crease because I kind of have hooded eyes. Well, one of my eyes is hooded, the other one's not. So this brush is definitely picking up lots of product. It's definitely dispersing it very well. I will say I do wish it was maybe a little more, what is that word, dense. I wish it was a little denser than what it is, but it is definitely picking up product well. Um, it's not giving me like some brushes, you know, even with a palette like this will give me a lot of fallout and this palette normally doesn't have a ton of fallout, but if you use the wrong brush with it, with any palette, it can happen. So it's not, it's not doing that. It's really applying very nicely. Again, I wish it was a little more denser because it would blend it, a, the edges a little better. But other than that, it's not a bad brush, not a bad brush at all. 
Okay, so now I am going to grab my Sigma E27 and I'm gonna use this because there's not really a brush like it in this crown set. And I'm gonna dip this into henna, which I just love. It's like the most chocolatey brown ever. Love it. It is the perfect fall chocolate brown color, I swear. Like Sigma, they they did their they did their thing with this palette for sure. But I really love this brush too that Sigma does. And no, this is not a sponsored video. I wish I had a sponsorship with Sigma because their stuff is amazing. And I literally have been slowly piecing together my <laughs> collection with them. Like I can literally afford to buy a brush every couple of months when they have their sales. Um, and I always try to let you guys know whenever they do have them. But this brush, if you have hooded eyes, is amazing. Like it is literally probably one of the my new favorite brushes from them I just got this about I don't know a month ago and I have not been able to put it down since I got it it is literally one of the most amazing brushes for blending out this inner corner and just dry I mean I mean it's just it's just an amazing brush I'm just saying so I will link it down below for you guys if you're interested in checking it out again this is not a sponsored video. I wish <laughs> I had a sponsorship with Sigma because they are amazing, but. Okay, so let's get into this Jonathan Gray palette and we're gonna get into this gold color right here because it just looks so lovely and it looks very similar to the one that I would do on my eye next from the Sigma palette. So, oh, I need a mirror. I got my Jeffree Star mirror. I forgot about that. Okay, I don't, I really don't mean to be that person, but seriously, you guys, this mirror is amazing. Like, it's so clear. I just, I can't even tell you. Jeffree Star definitely knows what he is doing when he does stuff. Okay, yeah, that is gorgeous. That is a pretty color. I can't, I don't know about the rest of the colors, but I haven't tried it out, but that is pretty and it's going on really really nicely and this um this crown brush is definitely picking up product with no problem especially with this being a shimmer color it's definitely packing it on and even swiping it on you can go either route it makes no difference but it's definitely doing its job this is just like the perfect fall look right here for me. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but for me. All right, let's get into this ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow because this is what I live for right here. I think probably on every single eye look I ever do, I have ColourPop somewhere on my eye. And it's normally how I'm about to do it right now. So let's go ahead and press that together, back together. Let's piece that back together. And honestly, if that would have been any other eyeshadow, it might have been ruined. But where, I mean, look at that. Do you guys see that? How like soft? I mean, their products are just so amazing. You're not going to get that anywhere else. I've never seen any other eyeshadow do what they do. I mean, it's just amazing. Like, hello. That is gorgeous. Oops flip my brush around and just pat that down I mean gorgeous look at that it takes it from that to that I mean I know you guys can see that difference like oh beautiful beautiful so just to let you guys know, if you hear noise in the background, that would be my nine months old son giving my fiance a run for his money. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try out this Kaylin Extreme Matte Tint Plus Mousse. So that is actually really pretty. Like I thought it was just a nude, but it's almost got like a purple undertone to it. You guys see that? So it's really pretty and that would be even prettier with a really good lip liner. So I wish I kind of would have done that now. <laughs> oh well. 
All right, you guys, so let's talk my overall review and thoughts on this month's Slay Glam box. Now, we're going to start off with the Fall in Love eyeshadow palette by Jonathan Gray. Now, obviously, I'm not happy that one of my eyeshadows came completely smashed, but I'm also not going to complain about it too much because I do receive this free for review, and, you know, I mean, it's free. I can't complain, but I will tell you guys, if ever you do receive something like this from Slay Glam, make sure you do reach out to her, send her pictures, because I do know she is very good about replacing products like this when something like this happens. So make sure you do that. Now, I did only get to really try out two of the shimmer shades in this palette. And as far as those go, they applied wonderfully. I didn't have any issues with them. I didn't get to try out this matte. I did swatch it, but you guys know how swatches go. You really can't tell a lot from them. And then there is a press glitter in there, but we didn't get to try that either. So let's talk about the crown brush set. Now, I thought this was a very cute idea, not something that you are going to receive in a lot of other subscription boxes. And everybody's getting ready to travel right now for the holidays, and you really need something like this. You know, it's got the mirror. I love these tweezers. These tweezers are literally everything. Like, these are the good kind of tweezers, like the good, good kind. And you can never have enough tweezers, especially if you are the mother of a teenage daughter, you know what I'm talking about. All right, <laughs> now I did only get to try out a couple of the brushes in there and they both worked perfectly fine. One of them I do wish was a little bit more denser or tightly packed just to blend out a little bit better. But as far as it picked up and applied product, it worked perfectly fine. So I really think this was a really cute and neat idea and perfect for coming up on the holidays and things like that. So I really, really like this. Now, the next product I'm gonna talk about is the Amana Kadar Lippy Love Lip Scrub. And I really, really like this, you guys. You guys know how I feel about Amana Kadar products. I am not a big fan. There's only ever been one Amana Kadar product that I have liked before, and it was this little blush, which I also received in my Slay Glam, which I still use constantly because I love it. And this will be another one of those products. I absolutely love this. It's not a super gritty lip scrub. It is perfect for on the go and you know you just need to like hit your lips real quick and and get that little flake off like that's this is what this is perfect for so i really love the fact that these are like really like travel products you know what i'm saying all right let's talk about the kaylin extreme matte tint plus mousse I was really surprised by this product as well. Kaylin's another one, it's hit or miss for me. Some of their products are amazing, some not so amazing. But this one was actually really good and I really liked it. It isn't super drying, it's not like, it doesn't crack, it doesn't like do all of that. It's just, it's just there. Like you can feel it, it's not like a Jeffree Star kind of formula where you don't even feel that it's there. But it's not super sticky, it's not, like I said, over drying. It's not super heavy. It's, it's just, it's just a perfect, it's just exactly what it says. It's like a lip tint and a mousse almost, you know, it's not, it doesn't transfer. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a good, it's a good lipstick. I've gotten some pretty good surprising lipsticks in Slay Glam. And that's one thing I do like about Slay Glam is I get some products sometimes that I would have never thought that I would have liked. And I'm like, oh, wow. That surprised me. You know what I'm saying? And that was one of those products. Now, I am really, really happy. You guys already know that there was a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in there because I know so many of you guys wanted to try this product. So I was so happy that you were able to do that via Slay Glam. And I absolutely love this color. I think this is a color that ColourPop either already quit making or is getting ready to quit making, which stinks because it's such a gorgeous, I mean, gorgeous 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 color and I'm just gonna enjoy every little piece of this color like I just I love it I love it I love their super shock shadows you guys already know that though all right so that I think that's the one two three four and five yes that is all the products in my box now let me talk about the slay glam lash set I really wanted to love this, you guys. I really, really did, but I have to say that I didn't. Now, the reason being, not because the lashes were heavy or they poked my eye, because it wasn't anything like that. They are just super long. I don't know if you guys can see how long they are. Now, I'm gonna show you these. These are the lashes that I normally wear, and these are by Dame Boss, and these are actually really long too for me because my eyes I just the way they're hooded and they're so small you know I really need shorter lashes but like you see comparison here 
these to these. I mean, these are just insanely long. I try to put on these pair here in the center and you can see, like I to put this one on and I'll show you guys right here. And the thing is, it literally like touched my eyebrow. It was so long and it stinks because for those of us that have smaller eyes or more hooded eyes, we really need a shorter lash. And these are just, I mean, they are super, super glam and I love glam lashes, but I mean, these are even longer than my glam lights. Like I pulled my glam lights out and checked and these are even longer than those. So that's the only thing I will say. I these will need to be trimmed and I don't even know how about how to go about trimming like the ends like I know how to trim a lash to make it fit my eye but I don't know how about trimming like the actual hairs on it I don't know if I'm gonna mess them up and I'm afraid to do it but I'm gonna try because I really do want to wear them and I, I I really really appreciate the fact that Slay Glam actually sent them to me um but they are super long so that is the only thing I have to say about that and that is all I have for this video. So uh, I will see you guys next time. And we do have a lot coming up this week. I think I'm literally going to have videos going up every day this week, which is insane for me. But we have a lot of boxes and a lot of things to talk about. So between now and then, I will see you guys later. I love you so, so very much. And thank you all so much for all of your love and support for my channel. Things have just been insane and amazing. And I just cannot thank you guys enough for it. So, all right, see ya.